A 101-year-old woman in Sonoma County is putting a new face to the Bay Area's housing crisis. She was just evicted, and KPIX 5's Susie Steimel found out it's happening more often than you might think. 101-year-old Mabel Barnfield was living at this luxury senior living facility in Santa Rosa. But when she ran out of money, they took her to eviction court. Oh, the eviction shocked the hell out of me. I mean, that was really a shock. And I thought, are they really going to do this to us? 90-year-old Betty James is learning firsthand how overwhelming the housing crisis can be for the elderly. Her 101-year-old sister, Mabel Barnfield, was just evicted from this luxury senior living facility in Santa Rosa. Brookdale Fountain Grove is a private care facility that charged Mabel $7,000 a month. To be able to live here, Mabel sold her home and quickly ran through her savings of $160,000. And they evicted her. I had to go to court. I thought, what? Brookdale didn't want to talk for this story, but sent a statement that reads in part, leadership and staff at the community went above and beyond to work with Ms. Barnfield and wanted the best outcome for her. Since this community is not Medi-Cal certified, it cannot accept Medi-Cal as a form of payment. So one of the things about this case that I think the public might find surprising is that it's not unusual. Ronit Rubinoff is the executive director of Legal Aid of Sonoma County. Her team helped Mabel find a new care facility in Nevada. She says cases like Mabel's are commonplace. They're currently handling hundreds of elder eviction cases in Sonoma County. She expects their caseload will only increase as Sonoma County's population ages. In 2010, the percentage of people over the age of 60 in Sonoma County was 21%. By 2020, it's expected to jump to 29%, and by 2045, it should be nearly 40%. We don't think again that we're going to get to that age and have to worry about a roof over our head. And we need to address that squarely. Betty says she considers her sister lucky. Because legal aid stepped in, Mabel has a safe place to stay. She wonders what happens to people who don't have sisters looking out for them. Absolutely. Like I said, if I didn't have them, I couldn't have done it. Betty says she used to come here to visit Mabel in Santa Rosa multiple times a week, but now that Mabel is in a new Medi-Cal facility in Nevada and Betty doesn't drive, their visits are far less frequent. In Santa Rosa, Susie Steimel, KPIX 5.